Hi, it's Adam here with Get Out There Magazine with another gear review. Today with me I have the Skechers Go Meb Speed 2, which were named after the top American marathoner Meb Kaflesgi. Now in Canada these things retail for about $130 and they come in five different color combinations. I received a pair that was blue and lime green, however it wasn't the looks that caught my attention right away. It was the weight of these shoes. Everyone that held these shoes said the exact same thing. Wow, these things are light. And they are. For a men's size 9, they only weigh in at 6.8 ounces. In a woman's size 7, they only weigh in at 4.9 ounces. That is just over a quarter pound. The Skechers Go Meb Speed 2 have a 4mm heel drop with a slightly rockered outsole designed to promote a midfoot strike. I must admit, with previous lightweight minimal drop shoes, I have had trouble with metatarsalgia in my forefoot and I was a little nervous about putting in longer runs with the Go Mebs. However, I found that their lightweight design was not due to a compromised protection through the sole. I found the midsole to be forgiving enough that my metatarsal heads did not become irritated even as my mileage increased. The GoMeb Speed 2 uses what Skechers calls a Resolite cushioning, which is a proprietary lightweight compound that's injection molded and they say has memory retention as well. Now I'm not 100% sure how the memory retention works, however the GoMeb Speed 2 felt more and more comfortable as I spent more time in it. Even though I found the Resolite cushioning to be more forgiving than other lightweight minimalist shoes I have worn, I did find it less spongy than a traditional running shoe sole, so keep that in mind if you are considering a transition. On the bottom of the sole you will find the Go Impulse sensors. These independent pods offer flexibility and increase sensory feedback. The soles have a great amount of flexibility and seem to develop more tension recoil than other shoes I have ran in. At first glance the toe box appeared narrow but after wearing the shoe I found there to be enough room for adequate accommodation for an average sized forefoot. I found that the heel counter and collar fit comfortably snug around my calcaneus and the tongue was thin but I had just enough padding so I didn't experience any lace bite when I did the shoes up tight. For these two reading reasons I really enjoyed the Go Mebs more when I wore a thin sock or I went sockless. So if you're looking for a very lightweight shoe that has sufficient foot protection, the Go Mebs Speed 2 would be great for you. Finally, due to their lightweight design and uh, the comfort they have when you're going sockless, if you pair these with a, a set of quick laces, I think they'd be a great triathlon shoe as well. So for more information on the GoMebs, visit Skechers Canada's website that is listed in the description below.